We all know that opening your phone to work on something is way easier than opening your laptop to work on the same thing. We also know that in our world today, there are not a lot of people who can afford a good laptop but can afford a good smartphone. You also know that you don't have to rely on someone to help you prepare your slides for your presentation simply because you don't have a laptop. It can end up being shabby since it isn't the person's work. Lastly, how many of us would like to sit back, relax, and simply work on our presentation without much fuss? That's why in today's tutorial, I will be teaching how to create the perfect slides for your presentation using just your smartphone. Don't go anywhere. Before we go on, why don't you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Here's an example of a badly prepared slide. As you can see, it's jam packed and we won't not be using this. Okay, it's not good at all. Rather, we are going to, I'm going to show you how to prepare very, very good slides. I'll be using my book on seminar report writing as a guide and it's available if you want one. Leave a comment below. Now, the first thing we will see is that we should get a compatible presentation software. So we'll just head over to play store because this is an android phone and look for microsoft powerpoint presentation app as it is common and it's very very easy to use so the next thing you want to do is open your report whether it's the project or seminar on a word app and here i'm using wps because you're going to be doing a copy and paste work on the presentation software it's easier that way so the next thing you have to do is to sign in into the app to um, have more access and to use the tools in the app to edit your work okay so it's for free so make sure you sign up in the app next you want to create a new document on the app and you should make sure that you save it in the right place okay so you want to start with the the cover slide and you're just going to copy and paste your your title page or your cover page from your report onto your presentation slide it's very simple just highlight it copy it and paste it there okay onto your title layout that you have put there then you make the ad um, necessary adjustment you know separate the words and uh, make it look fine edit it edit the the font size make it bold centralize it and all that next you have to um, take headings from your reports after creating another slide using the correct layout okay the next i'm putting my abstract or you put your summary or the next thing you want to put there just copy and paste um, um, words from your report to your presentation <laughs> slides okay it's just very easy okay so you make sure that they are properly arranged and um, properly spaced out to the right bullet points we'll come to that just do the copy and paste and can you you can always arrange later and you're going to be using your table of contents the outlines in your table of contents or your contents as your headings for each slide okay so the next thing i'm going to do here is to insert my introduction just insert it then you pick out the necessary points you want to put in your slides remember that it's supposed to be short and precise and straight to the point okay so the next thing we are going to do is make sure that your work is neatly arranged after copying and pasting the points the major points you want to put on your presentation slide so after arranging your work the next thing is that you have to justify it you know align it neatly so that everywhere everything looks neat you need a neat arrangement to be neatly arranged and uh, make sure you make the important ones bold so that's the first thing you see there okay so the next thing we are going to do by the time you are done your slide should look like this i've already imputed the design but i'm going to show you how i did it and to choose 
and how I choose a better one okay so select design and select the theme that you want make sure you choose the right theme for your presentation slide and also the right background you want to use dark text on a bright background and um, bright text on a dark background see this background is not really good you can see the difference make sure you use appropriate colors according to the tips in my guide and um, this is the one I selected wow as in i love this okay so make sure you select slideshow so that you actually see how the work looks when you want to present okay so the next thing after selecting the design is to actually adjust the work accordingly okay adjust the font size the right font size adjust your spacing um adjust your bullet points adjust your heading so everything is properly arranged and it um um ready to be read very well okay and make sure you choose the appropriate layout for each of your slides so the next thing we are going to do is to properly highlight the key points we want to use and make sure we use the right color okay so since i'm talking about depression in my presentation so everywhere i have depression i'm going to highlight it so that that's the first thing you see when you look at each slide okay it's my main work and it makes it look beautiful now next is that we are going to impute the transition effect that's how one slide moves to the other slides okay you choose the one that is appropriate and the one that is correct um, for your presentation according to how official it is and you can choose the um, it has effect options that you can choose how the particular transition effect is going to move from one slide to the other okay so according to my guide my tips there is that you should not choose one that is too overwhelming especially for presentation slides you are going to present in an official place like school or your workplace okay so choose something that will not be too dramatic except you are actually doing something dramatic for your place of work okay next you choose the animation this is how the text comes in or out or moves on your slide okay so we have the entrance effect we have the emphasis effect and we have the exit effect okay so i'm going to show you choose one entrance effect and i'm also showing going to show you how the emphasis effect looks like and the exit effect looks like as well okay so the entrance effect shows how the words are going to come into the slide enter the slide and the emphasis effect shows how the word will remain on the slide but it will be emphasized okay and the exit effect just shows how it will leave the slide it's pretty straightforward okay yes the one i chose is a bit dramatic and i will change it later i'm just showing you how it is that is the exit effect and this is the emphasis effect wow that's too big i'm definitely not using that okay so that is how it is so next you have to choose the right ones for you and um, you should note that you can actually select the particular text you want to remain on your slide and the one that you want the effects to the one that will have the effects okay so if i want everything to move together i select it that it should go at once okay that is the effect option under the effect option properties okay you see it's the numbered so you can select how each one whether you want each point to come as one or you want it to enter by paragraph or you want it to come in um all at once i don't know how to explain that okay so when you press it you just keep testing and trying out each button okay don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you really like this um, video i want to see more video tutorials okay so you can choose how um, each one floats because i've chosen the floating option and i want like the major and minor depression there to remain on the slide as the slide comes in and i want the other words to come in later 
so you can see how I chose um, the um, animation uh, animation there okay using the entrance effect so for this particular slide I used um, a double layout for it and I want one part of the um, text in the layout to come in and I want the other text to come in after okay so I go ahead and choose the right option properties for it selecting one make sure you highlight each text that you want to do and make sure the numbers are properly aligned as well so that you can have the right thing so you can see what I'm saying one text comes in and the other and the other in um, the right um, format so next is that we want to insert images on the slide to make it more interesting and i've gone ahead to get images from google and don't forget to put the source of your image so properly adjust it and look for where to put it on your slides you can see it's giving it making making the slide you know look more um more interesting to your audience okay so make sure you properly position the image you want to put on your slide and make sure it doesn't overwhelm your text okay you can see i've put that one on top i always like putting it at the right hand corner or by any corner depending on how the text is on your slide you can go ahead to put frames on it you can go ahead to highlight it you know make it look more beautiful don't just put your images there but go ahead to add something that will make it look more um, interesting beautify it more and you can go ahead to change the position you can take your image backward so your text can be on it but make sure that you don't make it too dramatic so you can see it there and you can always go back and check how your slides look overall so you can see most of my slides have images to make it more interesting and i tweak the images into the right format so that it will look beautiful when i'm presenting always check your slides using the slideshow to see how it will look when you are actually presenting to your audience okay so it's very simple and straightforward and you can see each of my slides the transition effect simple animation effect simple straight to the point the design beautiful my image is beautiful you can insert videos as well but i would suggest using um videos that are not audible especially if a student presenting for five minutes because that will take a lot of time okay so make sure you use images that reflect what the message you are trying to pass across okay so you can see that and at the end of the slide i put in the slide of um, showing how grateful i am so we have come to the end of today's tutorial and i hope you really let learn something from it that you can actually use your phone to create the perfect slide for your presentation whether it's a project or a seminar so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below if you found this useful. Thanks and God bless you. Bye.